Hello? Uh, mind if I use your car to pick up some stuff for my new house? Yeah, sure. I would let you. But you don't have any auto insurance, buddy. How about I give you a ride? Oh, come on. I don't need insurance to drive. You know I'm a good driver. No way, Jose. Almost every state in the U.S. requires that you have liability insurance. I actually don't know much about auto insurance. Uh, mind helping me out before I officially decide to get insured? Sure thing. There are two main types of insurance. There's liability, which pays for other people's losses and accidents you cause, and bodily insurance, which pays for injuries to the other person or people involved. You should keep your liability insurance as high as your assets, and if you think you need more protection, then you should look into getting an umbrella liability policy, which, um, which provides the protection above the limits of your homeowners and auto insurance policies. Thanks a bunch, man. That's, that was actually really informative and that helped me out a lot. Um, let's go check out my new house. Oh, hey, Yunjung. Thanks for picking me up, man. Yeah, man, I got you. Get in. absolutely have to. Uh, it's my first day on a new job and a new house. I'm just afraid of all the bills I'm gonna have to pay. Well, I can give you some reasons why renter's insurance might be beneficial. It will be a huge financial burden to replace all your belongings. And second, renter's insurance might be a lot cheaper than you think, especially if you have auto insurance already. Many companies would do offer deals on auto and renter's insurance. Oh, I actually remember my auto insurance guy talking about that. But wait, there's more. If renter's insurance um, provides liability and coverage if a guest gets injured in your house, your policy will pay for their medical bills, their lost wages, and possibly any suffering that causes. Oh, so you're saying if my brother came in and got hurt, he'd get covered as well? Well, unfortunately, you, your family members, and your roommates are not covered by, by renter's insurance. But it's a separate insurance plan. And getting to my last point, renter's insurance covers your property for risks such as fire, lightning, damage, and theft. Oh, man. Well, accidents like those, especially when I have guests over, happen at any time. Um, I'll make sure to get renter's insurance, but for now, I'm late to work. Okay, have fun at work, man. Uh, get back to me? Oh uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. Hi Jason, it's a pleasure to finally meet you, and congratulations again on your decision to join OSCE Incorporated. Thank you, I'm quite excited to join the team. Well, that's awesome, that's glad to hear that. Well then, are you ready to discuss your disability insurance options? Yeah, I'm ready when you are. All right, let's get to it. So as you look over here, um, young, healthy people like yourself often overlook disability insurance because they don't believe they'll ever get sick. But it's very important as you know, not, um, as you don't know what's going to happen and having that source of income when you're unable to work is absolutely crucial. First things first, since you'll be working in the state of California and since you'll be working full time, Aussie Incorporated is obligated to provide coverage through the state disability insurance program, which covers you for the disability insurance and petty family leaves also. Wow, I actually did not know that. Um, and for how long does this uh, program provide coverage? So with the state disability insurance program, you'll be provided benefits for a maximum of 52 weeks. Oh, I see. But what if I'm sick for more than 52 weeks? Well, the state government only covers you up until the 52 week mark. Um, that's why I usually recommend all my single working but not to wealthy clients to buy long-term disability insurance. And OSCE Incorporated does offer these policies and they will cover you up to the age of 65 or 70. Oh, thanks, Yoon Jung. Uh, all of this sounds very appealing. I sure hope I'm uh, insured if I ever fall into such a situation. Um, how are the prices looking on this policy? Generally, we take into account age, gender, health, and amount of coverage, and smoking history and occupation as well. And policies do go up as you age, so I think this long-term option is very worth it for you. Hmm, nah, I think I'm good. I'm young, healthy, and will never get sick for more than 52 weeks. Suit yourself, man. All right. Um, oh man, it's getting pretty late. Oh! <laughs> Hey Jason, so I just got the results back. 
It looks like you both broke both your arms and your leg. You're going to be out for more than 52 weeks. More than 52 weeks? I'm not even covered with long-term disability insurance. I should probably get covered. And while I'm at it, I should probably get some life insurance too. Thank you.